Alrighty guys, so with the release of Piggy 2 Chapter 2 this past weekend, we actually discovered a ton of information that concerns TSP, some of the characters we already know and love like Pony and Zizzy, as well as one dark secret that we're going to be discussing inside of today's video. Now I did want to remind you guys that I am going to be doing a small little Robux giveaway for today's video just to give us a little bit of a boost to hit 500,000 subscribers, so make sure to join the Mikey Mob down below by smacking that like and subscribe button and make sure to use code Mikey whenever you're purchasing robux as well as roblox premium but with that being said guys let's actually head on over to the cutscene of chapter two which is officially the longest cutscene inside of the entire piggy storyline now once you actually beat chapter two storage you are immediately met with mimi as well as giraffe the giraffe i don't really know his name but you guys are actually in the safe house because you search for batteries to actually power this thing right here guys the radio that mimi is actually going to use now inside of the cutscene we actually get contact with a group called Settlement 6, which we already know is TSP led by Willow Wolf. Now, I did want to mention inside of this entire scene that as you can see, guys, during this entire interaction, we have Zizzy's sister right here. I think her name is Zussie eavesdropping on the entire conversation. So, in the future, guys, I feel like this girl right here, Zussie, has a very important role in this entire situation because if Minitune added this small detail, guys, he could have literally added George Pig or even the other sister but this character right here is going to be very very important in the upcoming chapters of piggy book 2. now as you can see mimi has first contact with settlement 6 who is a complete stranger at this point and obviously guys everyone is a little bit scared just because we don't know who's actually safe who's infected and what is happening in the world right now since mr p has started his infection now as the cutscene continues you end up in the middle of a forest with zizzy as well as pony as settlement Element 6 meets you at the Old Oak. Now, as you can see, guys, this is where things take a turn for the worse because as you can see, Willow Wolf comes out of nowhere with a band of random people, a total of five different members. We got a dog right here. We got a tiger. We got Willow Wolf, Pandy, as well as Kitty. Now, there are five members, which is a little bit confusing because they introduced themselves as Settlement 6, but they eventually reveal themselves to be the Silver Paw, a.k.a. T.S. Now, in this little exchange between Willow and Pony, we find out that Pony was actually a part of Settlement 6, or should I say the Silver Paw in the past, but we don't actually know how Willow and Pony know each other. It's honestly a big, big mystery, but obviously, guys, we are going to be talking about that inside of today's theory video, so make sure to stay tuned, but the biggest turning point inside of this cutscene is when Willow actually focuses on Zizzy and actually takes her as a prisoner, just because Willow doesn't know who she is, but obviously, guys, you can see what Zizzy is saying, you may not know me, but I know everything about you and your sick crew. So I'm guessing Zizzy and Pony had a conversation about TSP as well as Pony's involvement inside of the Silver Paw. Now, this is where Willow gets kind of defensive. Pony tries to save the day and basically stop Willow from kidnapping Zizzy. But as you can see, guys, in this next scene right here, things get a little bit more serious because Willow pulls out something you never thought and something that we actually saw in the Piggy Book 2 official trailer. She is lost locked and loaded with a magnum. Guys, she literally has a gun and says, whoa, 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 hold your horses. I don't want to hurt anyone. So guys, you already know for a fact, Willow is the main villain inside of Piggy Book 2. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments is going to be happening with her in the future chapters. But, but with that being said, guys, we are going to be talking about our very first fan theory, focusing on the ex-member of TSP, Mr. Pony himself. Now, if you guys actually teleport all the way back to Piggy one chapter four you are actually teaming up with doggy and the very first thing you see is four weeks later now in this time guys this is when the infection has just started and obviously guys everyone is kind of scared but as you guys heard from that little cutscene right here there was a little bit of a potion sound effect that smashed on the floor and then doggy immediately disappears now this is where our biggest theory here inside of piggy book 2 is actually going to stem from that pony actually infected or killed the doggy. Now I know that sounds kind of insane, but let me explain guys. I wanted to give a huge shout out to the YouTuber Creekcraft because he did a video on this and he pretty much convinced me that Pony was evil inside of TSP and the reason he left the Silver Paw was because he saw exactly what they were trying to do with the infection, especially when he sees Doggy himself get infected here inside of Chapter 4 Forest. Now as you can see guys, oh wait, oh my goodness, there's a bot as well as Doggy, but inside of this little cutscene right here, Doggy's main 
weapon inside of the game is actually an axe. Now, if we do a replay of the outro from Chapter 2 Storage inside of Piggy 2, one of the TSP members on the bottom left was a dog holding an axe. So we don't know if Doggy somehow got reincarnated or if that Doggy is related to Officer Doggy, but we obviously know that Pony did something bad that made him want to leave TSP. Now, we don't officially meet Pony until Chapter 8 when you are actually saved by Zizzy and Pony inside of the carnival, but that is also where we see another note that actually points to Pony and Doggy knowing each other prior before Pony actually saves you. Now, before we actually jump into Chapter 8 Carnival, guys, I did want to also remind you that inside of the Chapter 2 storage cutscene, Pony did admit to doing a few things he wasn't proud of, which is why he actually left TSP. Now, once you actually get inside of Chapter 8 Carnival and head on over to the left side of this stall, you guys can see that there is a note right here written from TSP themselves, and it says Doggy and Foxy got what was coming to them. Now, Foxy is here inside of Chapter 8 Carnival, actually stuck inside of one of the cells, probably captured and left there by TSP, which honestly encourages the fact that Pony might have had something to do with this, because look guys, Foxy is right here, and obviously Officer Doggy got infected in Chapter 4, and it says, do not open monster inside TSP. Now, there's another note actually inside of here as I run away from Clowny that says, um, yeah guys, why did my friends leave me here? So, so what I'm thinking happened is that Pony was actually friends with Officer Doggy as well well as Foxy, but as soon as he joined TSP, TSP wanted to weaponize the infection created by Mr. P, which obviously turned Foxy into infected man inside of a cage and Doggy into an infected dog inside of chapter four. Now that note in itself kind of makes it seem that Pony was the one who infected Doggy as well as captured Mr. Fox because there is no way TSP would know who Doggy is as well as who Mr. Foxy is, especially if Pony was the one behind it all. TSP wouldn't leave a note inside of Chapter 8 Carnival saying they deserved what they got unless they were the Master Hinds behind it, and obviously, if Willow immediately calls out Doggy for being an ex-member, wouldn't you think that Pony is the one who did all of that? Guys, it kind of makes sense. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Now, we know that TSP knows of Mr. P's infection potion because there was a note left in Chapter 9 or 10. I don't really know which one it was, but there's a screenshot popping up on the screen right now, and it's basically TSP thanking Mr. P for the infection because they're going to be using it for something interesting, which we probably connect to Doggy getting infected. Now, this is what I think happened in the main storyline of Roblox P. Now, once the infection started, Pony had to find a way to survive, which is exactly why he joined TSP. But as soon as he found out they were doing some pretty sketchy stuff, especially weaponizing the potion made by Mr. P, he decided to leave as soon as he gave the potion to Officer Doggy, making him join the infected squad. Now, that's honestly one of the craziest theories focusing on Mr. Doggy, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments and if you guys think Pony was the one who actually got him infected or if you guys think Pony is completely innocent and he was just a small part inside of TSP's plan. Now remember guys, the ending of the chapter 2 cutscene involved Willow stealing or basically kidnapping Zizzy, so this actually brings up chapter 3. This might actually be the scene seen inside of the Piggy Book 2 official trailer when Zizzy is actually trapped in some sort of jail cell and she she seems pretty, pretty angry. So what I think chapter three is going to be is some sort of bunker or the headquarters of TSP where you actually confront Willow Wolf for the very first time. So let me know what you guys think of this entire situation down in the comments. Honestly, there is a ton of unanswered questions inside of the Piggy storyline, but I am almost positive that Pony was an evil person who got Doggy infected. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But with that being said, guys, we'll see you guys all in the next Roblox Piggy video. Don't forget to join the Mikey Mob by smacking that like and subscribe button. But other than that, guys, have a fantastic day and goodbye, everybody.